Hey guys, my name is Gemselex, and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, here we are as Young Link near Gerudo Valley. I unfortunately missed a Scutella token over here, so let's go ahead and grab that. Just gonna use your bombs to blow that up. We'll just go ahead and get some uh, Deku Seeds, because I need some. But down here, I missed a um, Scutella token. Yeah, it's right in here. Now, you need to use your Dins Fire, so let's go ahead and get Dins Fire out right there okay so we missed out on this before and it's not that big of a deal i think there's only one down here but we'll go ahead and get it anyways because there are a few other things that we can do as young Link now that we have i don't know now that we're able to come back as a kid yeah come on Link. also now that we have the sun song we'll be able to get more uh the tokens or not the sun song the song of storms Go ahead and kill him and get the Scatella token down here. Alright, awesome. Now let's see what's behind these other spider webs. There might be more Scatella tokens that I just don't know about. We'll go ahead and check anyways. Sometimes it can be really easy for me to miss Scatella tokens. And oh, what the heck. Alright, that thing is like freaking out. Alright, over here we have a enemy. Okay, so that's pretty much it for here. We're almost done with Hyrule Field. Oh! Never mind. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, so there's no more Scatella tokens in Hyrule Field, so that's good. Now, I think that's pretty much it for this. So what I'm gonna do now is <clears throat> I'm gonna go over to Hy Hyrule Castle Town. We're gonna go to Hyrule Castle Town because there's some Scatella tokens that we can get there. So I'll see you guys back at Hyrule Castle Town. Okay guys, here we are at Hyrule Castle. Now, there are some Scatella tokens that we can get here. So I want to quickly come here to get those. So we're going to have to run past these guards again, but it shouldn't be difficult since we've done this probably twice already. So, if you... Oh, don't. Link, come on, jump down. If you go back to where Mr... What's his face was? Where we... Mr. Mario, if that's what we'll call him. If you go back to where that guy was, there is a little secret that we can go do really quickly so let's go over there really quick okay coming back over here most of the tree here um you hit the tree some deck seeds fall out but if you play the song of storms playing the song of storms will be a real secret little entrance like this one right here so go ahead and jump down Okay, so coming in here, you see that there's a few walls, and there's like four of them. Let's go ahead and get out our Deku Turn Shop. And let's go ahead and blow up these walls. Not the Deku Turn Shop, the very Turn Shop. Let's go blow these walls up. Okay, here we go. Now, there's. Oh wow, this could be infested with these things. Let's go. And then these are here. We got some bugs. Uh, I think we'll get on bugs here. Yeah. Anyways, over here we have the Scatella token. Now, this this Scatella token is specific. Um, there's a glitch that you can do with this token, where when you kill this enemy, go ahead and kill it. If you kill this enemy, right? If you kill him, take the boomerang and throw the boomerang at the token, and then leave before. Um, before the boomerang actually gets back to you, you can keep getting unlimited skeleton tokens. So, for example, if I threw this boomerang and then walked over here and left before the skeleton token could actually touch me, the token will touch you as you're leaving and you get like an unlimited amount of tokens. So that's pretty much the cheating way to get unlimited token, but I'm not going to do it that way. Just let me grab this token and leave. So yeah, like if you grab the token and walk over here, the glitch would happen and then the token, the Scatella would still be there. So, pretty cool if you want to do that. I've done it before, just because I couldn't find the rest of the tokens, but not doing it in this playthrough. Hey, you kids, stop over there. Okay. So once again, they're going to throw us out because they don't like us. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much that. Now, uh, what else can we do? We almost got all the Scatella tokens in the, in the castle market. There is one more that we can get. But I think that's pretty much it for that. 
so I'm trying to think if we should go to the Lost Woods, because there is something we can do at the Lost Woods with Young Link now that we have this map. But it's not something that's worth going out of my way to do, so I'm not going to do it right now. Actually, it might be something I show you guys at the end of this Let's Play before it ends, just because eh, it's not really worth it. So anyways, let's go back to the Temple of Time and become an adult again. Because we need to go get another Scatella token. There's actually a few Scatella tokens that I missed. I missed one in Kakuriko Village. After you get the hookshot in Kakuriko Village, you're able to get a Scatella token that's hiding on top of a roof. So we're gonna have to go over there and get that one. But let's go ahead and grab the Master Sword and become an adult. Okay, so now that we're an adult, there's something I want to do in the Hyrule Castle Market. Going over here, as you know, there's just a bunch of re-deads, and there's also Ganon's Tower, which you can see in the distance. We're going to go to his castle because there is a Scatilla token that we can get over there, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So let's go to Ganon's Castle. And that's Ganon's castle, guys. So as you can see, he made a huge castle. But if you try to approach the castle, you'll notice that you won't be able to get across. So don't even bother. But the Skatel token that we're looking for is over here. Which is right here be uh, behind here. Let's go ahead and just get this guy. Now don't jump for this, you're gonna need a hook shot to get this. If you jump for it, you're not gonna you're just gonna fall straight down into the lava, so don't even bother. Over there, there's something over there, but we can't do anything about it yet. Okay. So I think that's it for Kakarigo Village. Not Kakarigo. That's it for the market. So we're done with getting the Scatella tokens in the market. So the next location we're gonna go to is Kakarigo Village because there is some Scatella tokens that we can get there, I believe. I think there's there's one that we can get there. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go to Kakariko Village. Okay, coming to Kakariko Village, there is one more Scatella token that we can get here. But, it will be out of your reach unless you have the hookshot. So, to get to it, you have to go over here. And use a shot on this roof right here. And then maybe if we're lucky, we should be able to get to the... We should be able to get to this roof. Come on. Come on, Link. Just aim at it. These controls are so sensitive. It's not even funny. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now we're up here. Couple of them right here. That they love. This is the last one in Kakariko Village, I believe. There's so many in Kakariko Village. And I think that's it. Hopefully, it should be it. Like, Okay, so that's it for Kakariko Village. And now that we have more than 50 Skatilla tokens, we can get our next prize. So, let's go ahead and talk to the person. Now, I believe it's... Um, the person in the middle over here. I'm so happy everyone is back to normal. Okay, is it you? The curse has been broken. Thank you, here's a reward for you. And he gives you a piece of heart. So you get a piece of heart for getting 50 Scatilla tokens. So, let's go ahead and talk to the guy in the middle. See what he has to say. Thank you for saving my kids. What, me? Oh, that's okay. You have already destroyed 54 spiders of the curse so far, so... That's fine, don't worry about me. Don't worry, buddy, we're gonna save you too, okay? So, 50 Scatilla tokens saves all of the kids. You need to get 50 more to save the guy in the middle, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, 
just trying to think. I, I always, I always say I'm thinking just because I don't want to forget about forget about anything or have to backtrack because I couldn't remember something so simple. But I think it's about time we head over to Death Mountain. That's our next destination. Even though it's pointing over here, our next destination is Death Mountain. So, um, all right. So I think we should just, I guess we should just head over to Death Mountain now. So let's go up to Death Mountain. <laughs> okay, coming to Death Mountain, we still have these same enemies that were here last time. Stop it. Stop it. Still have the same enemies that were here last time. But now we have more rocks and boulders that are rolling down the hill, so watch out for those. There's gonna be a lot of them coming down. This place is definitely a lot more dangerous than it was before. Now here's one of the places that you can plant a magic bean. It's no longer here, but if you plant a magic bean there, it's what it's how you would get up to that uh, heart piece up there. But I took a shortcut earlier. This place looks really creepy at night. Do you see how dark and creepy it looks around here? Jeez. It's really scary. Um now we need to go to Goron City to see how the Gorons are doing. Oh, I still never opened that chest. <laughs> okay, let's go see how the Gorons are doing. There are some more Skeletal Tokens that we can get here, but... I would probably just like to wait until I get the next dungeon item. It'll make it a lot easier. Alright, so here we are in Goron City. Wait, uh... Where is everyone? There's no Gorons here? Okay. No, Link, don't fall. Link, no! Alright, hold on. We need to go back up because there is a Skatilla token behind that pedestal, or whatever you want to call it. Um, right there. Okay, come on, Link. Go ahead and reach for that. Come on. Uh, can I reach it from over there? Probably not. I'm gonna have to go around. Oh wait a minute! There. Oh, you know what I need to do. You know what I need to do, guys. I need to do that side quest. Oh, who's this? There's a little ground rolling around. There's just one gore on here. Um, there is a side quest that I'm supposed to do, and I haven't done it yet. Or this, um, the side quest that involves the, uh, the chicken. I haven't done that yet, but I will do it soon enough. All right, I'm trying to get this token. All right. Okay, use the hook shot, and there you go. So, is that it for Grand City? I can't, I don't know if it is or not. I can't I don't I can't tell. I would I would say it is. No, don't fall. No. Okay. All right, where's that Goron at? I'm gonna go stop him. Um, let's get our bombs out so we can get him to stop rolling around. Oh, no, Link, don't fall. No. Come on. This way. Okay. So anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and wait for that Goron to come around. We need to use bombs on him to stop him from moving. Where is he? Where is he? Hello? Oh, there he is. Let's try talking to him, though. Um, come here. Come here. Where is Navi? Navi, talk to him. Oh my god, I'm gonna be chasing this guy. Navi, come, come here. Oh, I'll go around. I'll go around. Just want to talk to him, Navi. Ow. Okay, you know what? Come on. I'm just wasting time at this point. Uh. Okay. Whatever. So, anyways, guys. Next time, let's play Legend of Zelda. We will. Uh, try to talk to this Goron kid who's not staying still. I want to talk to him before I throw a bomb at him. Whatever. Next time, let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're going to see what's going on in Goron City because there's no Gorons here. So, see you guys then.